Now, the thing that we got to understand about the Alabama offense, and if you're an offensive coordinator and you have a system and, and you've been doing it 10, 12, 15, 20 years, if you're going to be the coordinator at Alabama, you're probably not bringing your offense. You're adapting to the Alabama offense. And coordinators have to be willing to do that. They have to be willing to shift or get out of you know their own comfort zone and alter their terminology uh, because the rest of it's not changing. So you know that could be a part of why you know this thing's kind of uh, dragging on a, a little bit longer. But there, shoot, there's no there's no telling, man. I mean, this this <laughs> it is. Uh, I, I I like the fact though that he's not rushing to do this he doesn't have to get the kids in the winter conditioning program all you've got to do is make sure you got that guy on board so he can evaluate personnel and get ready for spring ball it didn't have to happen three weeks ago so i have no issue with the timing of this but has there been a name that has been reported you've seen reported that you're like ooh, i like that no okay. not really okay. I, yeah, not, yeah not not really um so i it's i don't know i i i'm I, I think that everybody, it's easy to say, well, this guy would be good. But when their head coach is the secondary coach and he's a defensive coach, you, above all else, you have got to make sure that that's a fit, right? That that works. Yeah. Sometimes that takes more time because you're not just turning over the defense to somebody. That's the other thing. You're not just saying, okay, go coach the defense because that's not a CEO head coach. 